Eventually, we want to fly bigger motors, you know, for obvious reasons. <laughs> to do this, though, we'll need a level 1 high power certification to fly H&I motors. And to do that, it's probably a good idea to get into reload motors to cut down on costs, since these big motors can get pretty expensive. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, since only about 35% of you are subbed. Let's get started. A reload motor is when you have an aluminum motor case that's reusable, and you buy the motor itself, which is just fuel put inside a plastic liner. You put the fuel inside the aluminum casing, and after the flight, you dispose the liner, and you can fly the casing again. The aluminum casing replaces a cardboard casing on traditional Estes motors. The casing holds the pressure of the motor, so the motor doesn't blow up. After a certain amount of flights, this ends up being cheaper than just buying single-use motors. This also allows for more versatility. There's many different motors to choose from, and you can even adjust the delay time for the ejection charge. First, though, we wanted to see if we knew what we were doing. We purchased an Inspire rocket from Apogee Components and a Cesaroni 29mm 3-grain casing with two spacers. Grains in these reload motors just means how much fuel the motor has. One grain is just one cylinder of fuel. Because we have a 3-grain case and two spacers, we can fly the casing on a 1, 2, or 3-grain motor. We decided to fly the Aspire on an F-36 Smoky Sam. Smoky Sam just means the exhaust is dark gray. According to the open rocket simulations, we needed an 8 second delay to the ejection charge, so we adjusted it from the default 11 seconds to 8 seconds. We flew this rocket at the club, just after the Zephyr Jr. flight with the Homely Alternative. Hey, we got an upright landing. I mean, BPS has been trying this for years. But what happened here? We believe this was caused by the center of pressure being above the center of gravity. In model rocketry, you always want the center of gravity to be in front of the center of pressure, or else the rocket will flip like it did here. The reason we didn't see this coming was because we used a three grain case with two spacers instead of only a one grain case. This put a lot more mass below the previous center of gravity. Two fins broke on impact, but this flight shows we know how to use a reload. The motor itself worked as expected, and we got the 8 second delay perfectly. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.